This video, we will deal with problems related to Faraday's law. So let us see this question here, number 1. The magnetic field of 2 times 10 power negative 2 tesla x at right angles to a coil of area 100 cm squared with 50 tons. The average EMF induced in the coil is 0.1 volts when it is removed from the magnetic field in time t. Calculate it in the value of time interval. Now how can we do this? We know that the average EMF equals to negative N multiplied by the difference in magnetic flux divided by the difference in time. What do we have from the question? We have the magnetic field intensity given as 2 times 10 power negative 2 tesla. And we also have here the coil area which is given as 100 centimeters squared. We also have here the number of turns given as 50 turns. And we also have the EMF given as 0 0.1 volts. But they also say that it was removed from the magnetic field. It means that we have another magnetic field intensity which is 0 tesla. Because when they say removed, it means that the magnetic field intensity will be 0 tesla. So now how can we find the time? Why do we just substitute the values? But how can we do that? We know that the magnetic flux is equal to the magnetic field intensity multiplied by the area multiplied by cos theta. So substituting instead of the EMF we will write 0 0.1 is equal to the number of turns which is given as 50 multiplied by now instead of the magnetic flux we will write this formula here. So we will write here area multiplied by cos theta multiplied by the difference in the magnetic field because this is the only thing that is changing divided by the difference in time. So how can we get the difference for of the magnetic field here? Well the difference of the magnetic field will be equal to the magnetic field 2 minus magnetic field 1. So magnetic field 2 is 0 minus magnetic field 1 is 2 times 10 power negative 2 tesla. So finally we we'll get the difference in magnetic field as negative 2 times 10 power negative 2 tesla. So now we will substitute it over here. And the area we have as 100 cm squared. But we have to change this to meter squared. So when we change it to meter squared, it means that we will divide 100 by 10,000. Which will give us 0 0.01 meter squared. And we will also substitute the value here. Now how about cos theta? What is theta? Well they said here that the magnetic field acts at right angles to the coil of the area. Whenever they say that the magnetic field acts at right angle to coil or whenever they say that it acts perpendicular to the coil or normal to the coil it means that you will take theta as 0 degrees. This applies to the Faraday's questions. So it means that we will have cos theta which is 0 degrees. Now to get time we will do cross multiplication. So we will have our time here as negative 50 times negative 2 times 10 power negative 2 multiplied by 0 0.01 multiplied by cos theta which is 0 degrees divided by 0 0.1 when we calculate this we will get our time as 0 0.1 seconds so for question number two 
The magnetic field of flux density in Tesla acts normal to a 50 ton coil of 100 cm squared area. Find the EMF induced in it if the coil is removed from the field in 0.21 second. Now feel free to pause this video and try it out. So they want us to find the EMF. And we know that the EMF is equal to negative N multiplied by the difference in magnetic flux divided by the difference in time. Now from the question, we are given the magnetic field as 10 Tesla. And we are given the number of turns as 50 turns. And we are given the area as 100 centimeter squared to say that the magnet is removed this means that b2 or the field intensity to 2 is 0 tesla and lastly they also gave us the difference in time which is 0 0.21 second now how can we calculate this we have the emf equals to negative number of turns which is 50 multiplied by the difference in magnetic flux. Now what do you know? We know that magnetic flux equals to the magnetic field multiplied by area multiplied by cos theta. So now we'll just substitute this equation instead of magnetic flux. So we'll have here area multiplied by cos theta multiplied by the the difference in magnetic field because this is the only thing which is changing D divided by the time difference now we we'll have here the emf equals to negative 50 times the difference in magnetic field well we had b2 minus b1 this is the difference so let's just do it, it here. B2 minus B1 is the difference. So B2 is 0 minus B1 which is 10. We will get negative 10 Tesla as the difference. So we will write it here. Multiplied by the area which is 100 centimeters squared. But we have to change it to meters squared. Now to change 100 cm squared to meter squared, we will divide by 10,000, which will give us 0 0.01 meter squared. So we will write here, times 0 0.01 meter squared, multiplied by cos theta. Now because they said here, the Tesla x normal to a 50 turn coil, so whenever they say that, the magnetic field x normal to coil it means that you'll take theta as 0 degrees so we'll have here cos 0 degrees divided by the difference in time which is given as 0 0.1 seconds so when we calculate this we would get the EMF as 50 volts. So a coil of area 0 0.215 meter squared and 100 turns is placed perpendicular to a magnetic field. The field changes from 5 times 10 power negative 3 Weber per meter squared to 2 times 10 power negative 3 Weber per meter squared in a time interval of 30 milliseconds. Calculate the EMF induced in the coil. Now we know that the EMF equals to negative N multiplied by the difference in magnetic flux divided by the difference in time. And what do we have from the question? We have the area given as 0 0.15 meter squared and we have the number of turns as 100. We also have the magnetic field placed perpendicular to the coil. This means that theta will take as 0 degrees. 
and we also have the field changes from 5 times 10 power negative 3 it means that b1 is 5 times 10 power negative 3 and b2 is given as 2 times 10 power negative 3 and we also have the time interval as 30 milliseconds so how can we calculate the EMF? So I just substitute the values. So the EMF will be equal to negative the number of turns multiplied by the difference in magnetic flux. So what do we know? We know that magnetic flux equals to the magnetic field intensity multiplied by A multiplied by cos theta. Now, we will just write this equation right over here. So we will have here the magnetic field. But because the magnetic field is changing, we will find the magnetic field difference and write it over here. So the magnetic field difference is B2 minus B1. And B2 is given as 2 times 10 power negative 3. And B1 is given as 5 times 10 power negative 3. So we will get negative 3 times 10 power negative 3. And we will write it over here. So here we will have times negative 3 times 10 for negative 3 multiplied by the area which is given as 0 0.15 multiplied by cos theta which is cos 0 degrees divided by the total time which is 30 times 10 power negative 3 seconds. Now if you're wondering why I wrote times 10 power negative 3, this is because we had the time in milliseconds. So to change it to seconds, we will multiply it by 10 power negative 3. So now we will calculate this and get our EMF as 1.5 volts.